Independent Commission on International Development. Issues. The Toronto Globe and Mail, on April 7, 1980, reported the story of a conference to be hosted by Canadian Prime Minister Trudeau, that fall, which would reshape global structures. Quat. The summit, known as the North-South Dialogue, which would make recommendations on ways of breaking through existing international political impasse in North-South negotiations for global development, was sponsored by the Independent Commission on International Development Issues, and was to include President Jimmy Carter, Newsweek and Washington Post publisher Catherine Graham, Robert McNamara, former British Prime Minister Edward Heath, and West German Chancellor Helmut Schmidt. On January 14, 1977, Robert McNamara, President of the World Bank, proposed the establishment of an international commission of politicians and economists who would meet, not as government representatives, but independently to discuss basic proposals on which global agreement is both essential and possible. Quat. Willy Brandt, the former West German Chancellor was asked to chair the commission. On September 28, 1977, Brandt announced his intention to launch the Independent Commission on International Development Issues, and said that it would not interfere with ongoing international negotiations, and would make recommendations to help improve the climate of North-South relations. Quat. Brandt wanted the commission, consisting of 18 members, to represent many views, and to be politically and regionally balanced, with a majority coming from developed countries. Their initial meeting was in December, 1977. There was two phases to what is more commonly referred to as Brandt's Commission. The funding for the first, $750,000, in 1980, producing North-South, a program for survival, was provided by the Dutch government, as well as Denmark, Finland, India, Japan, Republic of Korea, Norway, Saudi Arabia, Sweden, United Kingdom, the Commission of the European Communities, OPEC Special Fund, German Marshall Fund of the United States, the Ford Foundation, Friedrich Ebert and Friedrich Naumann Foundations of the Federal Republic of Germany, and the International Development Research Centre of Canada. Subsequent funding was provided by the governments of Denmark, the Netherlands, Norway, Sweden, United Kingdom, and the OPEC Special Fund. The funding for the second phase, $350,000, which produced the 1983 report Common Crisis, North-South Cooperation for World Recovery, came from the governments of Canada, the Federal Republic of Germany, the Netherlands, Kuwait, the Commission of the European Communities, and the German Marshall Fund of the United States. In short, the Brandt reports called for a full-scale restructuring of the global economy, and the purpose of the Commission was to influence public opinion to help change government attitudes, as well as to make proposals for revitalizing North-South negotiations. Quat. In the 380-page report called North-South, which called for the instant redistribution of wealth from the richer, to poorer nations, and a stepping up of world disarmament. They wanted greater power for the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank. Quat. Their rationale was that the transfer of wealth must be tackled, not out of charity, but to ward off economic collapse. Hence, the Global Super Summit now. Worldwide security is not achieved by granting more aid, but by reshaping global structures, by greater regionalized planning and development. Quat. In Common Crisis, they recommended that a supranational authority be established to regulate world commerce and industry, international currency, and an international police force, under the direction of the UN Security Council.